Hi, my name is uh, Chris Lambert. I'm a British artist currently living and working in Shrewsbury. Um, I work with mixed materials, um, lots of different types of wood and bronze, and I also use um, ceramics and uh, polymers. So I started my career as a designer of contemporary um, furniture and uh, collectible design objects. And um, there's a lot of parallels between contemporary design and art. And it was during the, the prototyping stages I had access to a lot of materials that would not necessarily be considered uh, normal artistic materials. And these experimentations led to early pieces which then became refined and consolidated into current work. I capture movement within my sculptures uh, by freezing the materials when they're in mid-movement essentially. So um, if I'm working with polymers, they're frozen using liquid nitrogen or uh, just water when they're in a position that I deem to be adequate for the piece. Um, if I'm working with pieces of bog oak or other wood and combining them with things like polymers, um, I tend to sit with the wood for quite some time first and try and visualize the actual movement that the addition of the polymer would create and then um, stretch it to that vision. I'm drawn to using bog oak because of the intensely organic natural forms that it presents itself in. When it's excavated from peat bogs it it doesn't look like wood in the form that we're used to seeing it. It's not recognisable as timber or wood or something you can buy. Um, each piece is completely unique and often decaying and frozen in a, a period of time. Um, so by me adding to that and then freezing that in another moment of time brings together these two periods of history. So the piece I've got featured in this year's Arts Trail is titled Repeating Patterns of an Elm Tree and it's, um, it's a wall sculpture which uh, is comprised of seven individual polymer castings of a burnt elm um, and the, the castings have been sliced and reconfigured so as to try and show the original form of the tree. Um, so the curve in the piece is representative of the growth rings of the tree. And this piece is from my series of works which I've titled uh, Fracturato, um, as in fractured, and they, they're comprised of a, um, a composite which is essentially porcelain with some reactive materials mixed in to induce cracking. They take about five to six days to complete. Uh, each one's completely different and depending on the, the mixture and the temperature, um, they, they all respond in a completely different way. So this piece is um, from the same series as the one featured in the Arts Trail. It's titled Repeating Patterns of an Oak Tree. Um, and this one's actually been gilded in 22 karat white gold. And um, I've left off some of the canvas to try and convey more of a sense of movement or motion with this one. I think the Arts Trail uh, is really important, especially in local communities and smaller communities like that in Shrewsbury. People are starved of art in places like this all around the country and nearly all the, um, the focus and the money and the attention goes on London and other, other major cities and it's rare that you get an opportunity in a town like this to view work of the calibre that is in the, the arts trail.